Once NanoCAD is installed, double click the icon you find on the desktop. After a few seconds, NanoCAD starts up. And then it presents you with this Getting Started dialog box. Over here, the very first item is Get Started. What it actually means is New Drawing. So I'll show you. I'll click on it and a new drawing opens up. Let's jump back to the Getting Started dialog box. The open is what you think it is. It prompts you to open an existing drawing. And it can be any DWG file from NanoCAD, AutoCAD, or any other software that saves drawings in DWG format. In addition, you can open DXF files and DWT template files through this dialog box. Below open is a list of recent files. This is handy for opening files that uh, you've been using recently but uh, don't want to hunt down through a dialog box. And then below that, recent folders from which you recently opened drawings. Along the bottom, we have a link to YouTube where there are tutorial videos that have been created by Nanosoft, a link to the Facebook page, and a link to their Twitter account. On the right side of the dialog box are a number of helpful links as well. This one takes you to the NanoCAD website. Support Portal takes you to the support page that NanoSoft provides. Forum takes you to the user forum. The Developers Club is uh, a password locked site for developers so that they can access software that they need and get their questions answered. There is no fee to belong to the Developers Club. Help sends an email to NanoSoft Tech Support. And Personal Cabinet is like your online account that tracks your licenses and so on. Finally at the bottom here, you go to the NanoCAD website that shows all of the software they offer in English and Russian. Now that you've had a tour of the Getting Started dialog box, let's start a new drawing and see what it's like to draw with NanoCAD. So I'm going to click Get Started and wait a second for a blank drawing to appear. And I'll just give you a quick overview of uh, the user interface. It'd probably be quite familiar to you, in fact. Along the top here, we have the menu bar and the various menus. Personally, I find the menu bar the easiest way to get to a command. And then there's toolbars along the top, the side, and over here on the other side. If you want to change the toolbars you see, right-click the user interface, choose NanoCAD toolbars, and then whichever other ones you want turned on or off. Over here are uh, palettes. And you can see this one is for doing a quick select of objects. Here's the one for properties. And if you want more or different ones displayed, once again, right-click the user interface, choose functional, and then you can see the other ones such as Sheet Set, Drawing Explorer, and so on. Well, let's draw a line. So I'm going to start entering the line command. And as you can see, a list of all the commands that start with LI. So I'm going to type N for line, choose the line command. So just like in other CAD systems, it prompts specify first point. I'm going to move my cursor in here and click. And then you can see dynamic input is present. And as I move the cursor, it tells me the angle and the length of the line. The prompt says specify next point. I do that. And let's click another one. You can see here it has object tracking, so I can draw this line's endpoint to be in line with the first line. That's that green dashed line. And uh, let's uh, try another one. There's a vertical. And now I can use object snap to snap to the endpoint of this intersection here. Press enter to end the command. To end off this getting started in NanoCAD, let's see what it takes to save and print the file. So I'm coming over here to the file menu, choose save, and it's exactly what you'd expect. You can choose the folder in which to save it, give it a name, and specify the DWG format. I'll cancel that. And then to print, go to File, Plot, 
and here's the dialog box. Notice that the default printer is automatically selected. Uh, we're going to plot the display. We're going to fit to paper. And here's a rather nice touch. This lets you position the drawing on the paper. So if I click at the top here, it'll go print at the top of the page. If I click in the middle, it centers it. Now if I come over here and choose page preview, you get to see what the drawing actually looks like. And once again, I can move it around to different parts of the drawing. And then when I'm ready, I click plot.